Hey, it's Kevin. Thank you so much for coming by for another No BS social media chat. You know, over the years, everybody has been well, announcing the death of this social media site and that social media site. Is MySpace dead? Friendster dead? Some of them are dead. Some sites come and go. The platforms come and go. But I don't think, well, YouTube, I don't think Facebook are, are going anywhere anytime soon. But what's really interesting to me is I've noticed that people talking about social media as a tool is perhaps dying. And while I think that's a lot of, well, people wanting social media to die, I don't think it's ever going to die. I think the ability to connect with people online, the power of that ability is so strong. I don't think social media is ever going to go away. And with as rich as Facebook is, I definitely know they're not going to allow it to go away. But I think it's important that we look at this time in our world when there is so much negativity, when there are so many trolls out there, and, and try to well, use social media only for positivity, only for good, trying not to get engaged with the trolls. I mean, the faster you can just block them, be done with them, and move on, it, it's better. You know, the one thing I saw about social media when I left radio many years ago was the ability to communicate with more people at a further distance. The more, well, the more powerful of a tool than even FM radio. You know, a radio station only has a reach of about two, three hundred miles maximum. Some not even that far. A good one, two, three hundred miles. And really closer to about 150, 200 miles, let's be honest here. But with social media, you have a reach all over the world, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And that's the amazing thing, and I don't think that tool is worth getting rid of. Sure, again, a lot of people are writing the death knell, and that's okay. But I think what you need to think about is how you can be a part of the positivity approach. I wish I could come up with a movement. I wish I could come up with something that, that kind of struck the chord about only being positive on social media. But the reason I left radio was because I saw the potential and the power for social media. Not only for change, not only for good, but the ability to bring us closer together. And I think that's the one thing to always remember. Right now, social media is driving a stake amongst people. Just look at our presidential politics right now. Just look at the Democrats and the Republicans. Man, social media driving a lot of that negativity. And I think that's what's killing social media is the negativity. And that's what a lot of people say. We've gone to the gutter so fast, can we ever recover? Well, we can. And it's almost like Nancy Reagan saying, just say no, if you take a pledge to not want to get in the middle of it. I see friends calling each other out all the time about political views, about who they support, who they don't support, and what they support. And you know what? It is just not worth it. There are a lot of my friends I don't agree with on anything politically. I may tell it to them face to face, but I'm not going to block them. I'm not going to get rid of them. I'm not going to delete them as a friend on Facebook because it doesn't matter. Because what I want them to do is see my positivity, is to see the uplifting things I do, and a lot of taco pictures too, let's be honest, but more importantly to see the power of, of the tools and, and use them for good. And I think that's the important part. We all can do so much with social media if we just, well, stay on the good side. Yeah, and, and it's corny and it's cheesy and maybe it's because we're in the holidays here in 2017, but I think it's something to think about. Only, I don't even say resolving, I guess we're getting ready for New Year's resolutions too, only resolving to be positive on social media in the coming year. And to me, it's not even about a resolution. It's not even about the coming year. It's about being positive all the time. Only using social media for good. We've touched on these subjects so many times before. But I think it's important to note right now in the world we're living in, and with so many more people jumping on the bandwagon hoping that social media will die, that if you do love social media as much as I love social media, or even if you love it just a little bit, imagine your life without it. Imagine your life without being able to connect with high school friends and, and well, stalk your former boyfriends and girlfriends and be able to, well, I always, that, that's not good, is it? But the, more importantly, just to be able to keep in contact with your family and your friends and to stay close and to be in their world. And I think that's what's important. Be a part of the process. Be a part of the good. Be a part of the positivity. I think we're all going to be better off for it. Back next week, another No BS social media chat. NoBSSocial.com, the website where you find all of our 200 plus videos. We also throw them up on YouTube, throw them up on Facebook. Again, wherever you found us this week, come on back again next week. We'll be right here. If you'd love to reach out, talk more about being positive, come up, you got a solution? You got a way to, to help get everybody to be more positive too? Reach out to me. Phone call, email address, my phone number, email address coming up here at the end of the video. Thanks for coming by. See you next week.